morning. Welcome to Fitu Thai Kitchen. Now we're back in UK. We start to do another YouTube again. And uh, today we're going to make a pomelo salad or yam sum o. Now our ingredient, this one we used our hometown recipe. Right, and uh, our ingredients are first thing of fish sauce, uh, fresh lamb, depend on how much and depend on how sour for uh, pomelo, and uh, red, uh, red shallot, garlic, fresh red chili, uh, dry chili, <coughs> this one, uh, great coconut. <coughs> This one, uh, we have roast, we already roast this one, cashew nut, and uh, prawns. This one, your choice, you don't need to put or you want to put this one, your choice. But this one, <coughs> we cook by uh, stir fry or boil it. <laughs> okay, but I, I forgot the most important is <laughs> pomelo, but we use pomelo red today. Okay, now we roast the uh, all the ingredients. Yeah. Yeah, we put onion. Oh, we put uh, garlic. <laughs> Just uh, slide into uh, small pieces. You can put more uh, chili if you like. Hotter. That with the uh, medium heat. But in Bangkok, they use all this one fresh. Okay, you can see the color turn to brown. Not burn, yeah, just brown enough. Okay, yeah, now just uh, a little bit burn enough. And then <coughs> we roast dry chili. This one we put on top. before it's burn okay and now we roast the great coconut the great coconut we put only one tablespoon now you can see the color is brown then at last we cook a prawn you can use by stir fry or boil it, but today I boil the prawn. Okay, the bo water boiling. Yeah, we put the prawn inside. It takes a few minutes for the prawn to be cooked. Okay, all the ingredients have cooked. Okay, now everything have cooked. Okay, we use mini grinder to to cry all these the ingredients, shallot, chili and garlic. Then now we open pomelo. Okay, we cut the head like this, and then <coughs> yep. some coffee, coffee break for and coffee Chef break. Two. Then this one for a hat for the chip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good shot. Yeah, look. And cut into half. 
but we need to to taste first is sour or sweet then we can uh, put all the ingredient mm. 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 it's nice maybe we don't need to put a uh, lip Yep. lamb juice or just a little bit and just a little bit a uh, pin of sugar because this one sweet and sour <laughs> and uh, you make into a small small pieces And now we mix this one with a uh, fish, two spoon of fish sauce. But we taste first. I think we put the uh, one piece of uh, lamb juice. Maybe not sour enough. No juice this one. No juice. Another one piece bit. Any uh, maybe a little bit. I put pinch of sugar and then we mix. Then we put in here, we mix. Quite spicy. And then this one, uh, great coconut roast, roast great coconut, we put on top. Roast ketchup nut. Prawn. <coughs> this one, like I said, this one your choice. You don't put or you put this one your choice. And, and uh, before you said this one the morning version. Yeah, the, yeah, this one our uh, recipe, my hometown recipe. Morning people they when they cook they cook like this. And then we put a dry chili, a roast dry chili, just on top of the coriander. Right, one, so we're going to try this. I actually had this for the first time in Thailand, this trip that we just came back on, and it was really, really good. I'll try and get a bit of everything here. Oh, it's good. Sour, touch of sweetness. Spicy. The toasted coconut really comes through. So this version is different to the one that I had. The one I had in Thailand is like a normal kind of like yum version, a Thai yum version. This one is a Mon version. <clears throat> Mon people are a kind of tribal nomadic people um, that originally come from southern China and they settled in Burma and they settled in <coughs> many of the surrounding 
Southeast Asian countries and uh, Ratchaburi, there's, there's quite a lot of them. They have their own culture, cuisine. Chef Tu is part Mon and in her hometown when you go to the markets they're still speaking in, in Mon, in a Mon language. In her hometown they even have um, street signs in the Mon script. It looks like alien writing. It's all very geometric. I'll show you an example up here. Wow, well, it's going down really well. Um, so check that out and um, we'll see you again next week. Take care now. Bye.